Welcome back to another video. We are at Six Flags Great Adventure and we are going to ride the tallest roller coaster in the world. King Ka. Uh, as many of you probably know, it's been rumored that it's going to be done after this year, after the day actually. So we made our way out here. We figured we're going to get a ride in on it. So we'll see you inside the park. So we got through the gate. Now we just got to find our way around. I don't know this park at all. So we're just going to kind of feel our way through it. Now we're working our way over to King of Ka. We're going to get that out of the way first. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little nervous. Never done nothing that fast and that high before. But it's now or never. Because I really think this is the last day it's going to operate. Seems like all the rumors are pointing that direction. Maybe they're wrong. Maybe it'll be it'll still be here next year, but not taking the chance. We're gonna get it out of the way. A little nervous, Tana? I'm more than nervous. <laughs> so we're getting closer. Shut up. <laughs> There's a couple more rides that's rumored to leave. The parachute ride there, the Twister, and Green Lantern. I guess technically Zoom and Jarrah is going to go too. I mean, it's on King of Cost structure, so obviously it'll have to go. Here we are, we're entering the Golden Kingdom. It's where King of Cost is located. Not too busy today. Kind of expecting more of a crowd with the, all the hype around this thing. Got a construction marker on the ground there. That's white. That's for digging. So they're definitely going to be doing some excavation work here. So, not to say that confirms the rumors. but it's definitely supporting them. Here we go, here's the queue line for King Daka. We're getting ready to get on it. Unfortunately, we have to put everything in a locker, so this is as far as I can take the camera. So I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so we just got off King Daka. Uh Unfortunately, that line's crazy. Um, might try to ride it again before the end of the day. Is it worth the hype? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I can't get a shot of it from this angle. But anyway, absolutely, it's pretty sad this thing's going to leave because that was a fantastic ride. That was like Storm Runner times 100. So hopefully we can get another ride in it before the end of the day. We'll see. It's about an hour and a half wait. But what a fantastic ride. That was crazy. Unfortunately, in my opinion, the best ride here is done for the year. El Toro's not going to be running anymore this year. Uh, I have I was here one other time back in 2019. King Daka was down most of the day. We didn't get a chance to ride it that day, but we did ride this, and this is one fantastic wooden coaster. So maybe another time, because we're going to have to come back to see what they're going to do in King Daka's spot if it does close. I'm sure they're going to build something epic there.
a quick peek at our new for 2025 roller coaster. This was planned to open this year, but never happened. I believe it's called Steam the Flash. I, I can't remember what the exact name is of it. But it's a next generation Vacoma boomerang and it does look pretty amazing. Up next, we're gonna ride our first RMC single rail, the Jersey Devil. I honestly don't know what to expect on this. I say they're pretty pretty wild, pretty snappy, kind of like the the iBox RMCs. I guess we'll find out in a couple minutes here. Hey, we just rode the biggest roller coaster in the world. I guess we can do anything now, right? Besides that signature RMC, loud chain lift. We just got off Jersey Devil and that one surprised me a little. It wasn't near as forceful as I expected it to be for an RMC, but it was just fun. It was a good ride, it really was. I hope they build more of them. Up next, we're gonna hit Nitro and Batman. We just got off Nitro and Batman. Um, Nitro, it's a good B&M hyper. 
can't imagine the better. Sorry, it just is. Uh, but it, in fairness, Nitro is an older B&M Piper. But Nitro also has a has a Papa ejector airtime on it, which most B&M Hyper coasters do not have. So that was kind of a nice surprise. With Batman is the original B&M invert. I don't believe this one was the first one, but the layout is. There's like four or five of the clones, or maybe more than that. Let me know in the comments if you know. Around the country. So up next, we're gonna head over to this. Uh, um, there's a giant skull over here. It's supposed to have a coaster in it, so we're gonna check it out. Okay, we're at this skull mountain looking thing. And we're gonna go check it out. But like every other ride here, we're gonna have to uh, put you in a locker. So I'll be back after we get off of this. Well, that's gonna do it for our visit to Six Flags Great Adventure. Just got our final rides on King Ka. Which maybe after a day we'll never run again. There's a lot of speculation going on, we'll find out. I'm curious to come back and see what they're gonna do with it or see what's gonna be in its place. And as always, keep it safe, keep it fun, and keep on riding. I'll see you next time. <laughs>